Right then guys, uh, had a little, well I say a little, had quite a large parcel in the post this morning. Um, I'm still waiting for a potential transformer. Um, it's actually coming from Germany. Uh, I'm still waiting for that. It actually got dispatched two days ago, so it will be here sometime next week, I would I would most definitely hope. Um, now, I sort of promised I'd do this video. Um, I'm pretty disappointed with, uh, as many people are, with how um, Google and YouTube have messed everything up, as per usual. Um, changed something good and made it bad um, with all the comments and stuff so I'm going to add a little link to something that Sparky Projects is doing um, you know every little helps so if you want to make comments and whatever on that that'd be quite cool um, so anyway I'll crack on and just show you with what, show you what's happening I said I'd show you this one once I'd sort of got it out a bit more um, this is a three phase 20 kb uh, so about this hope you can get the light in there and see so yeah that's a three phase as i said before i plan on using a center tap um i've got another one of those coming um and they're 20 kb so using a center tap that'll give me 40 kb with 100 volt input um i might possibly go a bit higher than 100 volts because i know these things can take it um, I've got my 6kV one at the back there which is quite a monster to be honest for a 6kV um, I have actually tried that one uh, I have used it um, it's pretty awesome it's pretty good I'm not going to say say it's not um, and then I've got this one today in the post a little bit bigger actually quite a lot bigger um, also a 20kV oh shit sorry about that I'm feeling so well today, I'm not too sure why. Um, but there is the label on that one. Now I've been talking with someone on YouTube quite a lot just recently. Um, and basically what they've said is that the VA isn't like uh, the VA of a normal transformer as we think of it. It's like the ratio. Um, hard to explain because these transformers obviously have a ratio these ones are 100 to 20,000 volts um, but as you can see this one here has actually got four now that is a test output and that is a test output and they are two two different lots basically um, one is um, half uh, is would give out 50 volts this one gives out 100 volts um, so, um, I mean, I've been reading lots of um, PDFs about these anyway, I'm trying to find out a bit more about them and whatever. Um, but basically, the higher the VA rating, there's two VA ratings there's uh, the normal one, and uh, there's also a thermal VA rating. And the higher they are, the better the transformer is for taking a bit of a beating basically uh, is probably the best way to put it um, so if you're looking to get transformers and whatever the higher the VA pretty much the better um, been as I say been chatting with uh, this book on YouTube I'm really sorry because I, I forget everyone's names on YouTube all the time I can't do anything about it got a pretty poor memory um, now I'm going to be running this ballasted and then I'll probably run it not ballasted um, I've got a ballast here which I plan on using um, I'm not actually sure it's got an air gap there and you can take the sheets out to change that air gap obviously not metal obviously it would, wouldn't be an air gap um, but I'm not actually sure what that is yet so it needs to be tried um, and I've also got a uh, arc welder which I plan on rewinding my secondary and using that as a ballast as well because at the moment I've got 1750 watts in my unit down there they're all on at the moment the unit isn't turned on so I can hit the push the switch that's there but I've got nothing plugged in 
it's all good. Um, and then oh, I also got those as well, which some of you will notice. I cleaned one up a bit. The other one I haven't cleaned up yet. Um, so I can't remember what I was saying now. Yeah, ballast. So I've got about three and a half kilowatt down the side of my bench. Um, but I, in total, once I get the two Zenith Variac stacked up, not the blue one if you're wondering, that one's just a standalone. Um, I'm going to need 15 kilowatts of ballast, which is obviously quite a lot. Um, so, mm, I don't know, not too sure what to say really. But I, I basically need 15 kilowatts. At the moment, I shouldn't really be using 15 kilowatts. This, you know, I'm only running off on Variac, but the Variac can handle it for a while. So, anyway, less uh, baffling, more pulling some arcs. I'll plug this in, I'll turn that off. I haven't actually tried this transformer yet. This is the first trial of it. Sorry about getting in the picture there. As you can see, I've got my earth cable wrapped around the chair. That's just to keep it off the floor, really. You can hear my little one whinging away. So I'm going to run this at... volts with a 1700 watt ballast and see what happens believe it or not that's putting about 10 amps so I'm going to take it up to way past its maximum voltage out of the transformer, but it's ballasted with not very much ballast at all, so... Pretty big arc there. set fire to my chicken. Right, so now then, what we'll do is I'm going to turn it down and switch off the power. I'm going to turn it down back to 100 volts and take away all ballast. So it's now completely unballasted at 100 volts. Now this could possibly trip my breaker. If it does, it does. That's what the breaker's there for. That's why I need to move so I can get a shed, get some bigger cabling in, stack the Variax up, get some more power. So this is it. 100 volts of outer ballast. Need to turn it on. I always do that. It pisses me off, but never mind. That's actually putting about 35 amps from the mains um, and about 60 some odd from a variac so I'm going to turn the input up to 150 so it's 50 volts over so theoretically it should be 30 kV again guys it could trip my breaker that's what the breaker is there for all that happens is the missus screams at me oh, she doesn't really she doesn't really give a fuck oh, she just goes and turns it back on for me <laughs> right we'll give it a go well, that is something quite random that I've never experienced before. Let me try and show you this, guys. I have to move my camera to do this. Obviously, quite a lot of uh, static coming around. I'm not sure whether you can be able to see it or not. Watch down there when I pull an arc, I see some strange effects happening. I need to turn the fucking thing on again. Anyone notice anything? <laughs> 